open the expression one again and then save as expression three on score with y initial. This time we're going to create a knot and this knot will match the boat. So what we're we going to do, we're going to create a similar sketch. Hit OK. Then do the same thing. We're going to create a vertical line around 50. Then create a horizontal line around 50. Then make them reference reference now we're going to create a circle then we're going to create a hexagon OK. Finish. Then you can see in this. Then you can see here we have this sketch. Now, what we're we going to do, we're going to give the parameter. We give the parameter. So Let's use uh, edit with the rollback. Give the dimension. So you can see here. Uh, I have a rapid dimension here. So give this dimension from the center to this line. This is P0. And then we would like to choose this uh, circle arc P1 close so and then we're going to extrude make connect it Give this value to mm, 10. This time, this time we can also create this one. Include this inner circle. So we create this one simultaneous. Now let's hide this. see this is my nuts but without the uh, without this uh, thread yet so what we can do here we would like to match the size of the boat right so what we can do we would like to create some interpart expression let's save this far this file first and then use the tool expression so we're going to create so this one this is the has side right so we would like to say this one is uh, not Not uh, head size. 
threat. Threat. Minor. Diameter. Need to apply. We're going to give some formula here. The formula. We're going to use a uh, make sure we're going to create a interpolar expression. Uh, but we don't have any part yet, right? So we can open the part, which is uh, which is this one. Hit OK. And then we would like to make sure this is the same as uh, the uh, both sides. So both sides. Hit OK. Now you can see the both side head size in the point expression is being created and come from the lab 13 expression. Right, so we're going to use the same, okay? We're going to use the same and uh, then make this one my minor diameter is also equal to so inter use the interpart expression. So we're going to say this will become a interpart expression. And uh, image diameter, minor diameter, in the part spread lens factor. Uh, I want to let me expand this one a little bit. Uh, major minor diameter is here. Okay. Uh, this has been calculated here, right? So, hit OK. Then my hole, my hole will be created like this. All right. Then what we can do here, we can create a thread now. Use this detail and then click this one. Right, you can see this time, the minor diameter becomes the default because my cylinder is created like this, right? So I'm going to hit OK. Right, this is the thread. However, what we can do here, let me save it here. You can see this one is being controlled by my um, other part, right? So links, so you can see Okay, and uh, this is the user expression. We don't have any user expression yet. So uh, it's all controlled by from here. So we can see the thread have six, P6, P7, P8, P9, right? So what we, we can put here, so this one is not major diameter I'm going to put it here and this one is not minor diameter let me change this one Diameter and this is not angle, not angle. This is not not pitch.
not lens straight lens right so once we have them then we would like to make angle make uh, uh, major diameter minor diameter or equal to and the pitch or equal to what we have in the in this boat so then let's say angle the part expression equal to angle and uh, lens we leave it here major diameter we would like to make uh, major diameter same as major diameter and the minor diameter equal to input minor diameter input minor diameter expression input both minor diameter hmm? oh we already have it right we already have it so we can make this equal to minor diameter Input minor diameter. And then the pitch equal to pitch. It okay. Now let's save it. What do we have here? So that means whenever we change the let's open the part. Open this part. Let's version one. Open, open, reopen. So we have both parts. Uh, let me see. Window. Let's have two windows here. Now, when I change this one to say major diameter to 12 you can see right this is also updated change this one to uh, 20 Uh oh. Oh, remember, uh, what we what we did here is this one is filled, right? So uh, we need to change this one to pitch to uh, one.
Okay, now you can see it's updated. So this is what we call interpart expression. Okay, uh, use the parameter. Use the parameter from another part to uh, create or to control our model. Now you can save your part now. Once you, if you don't want, change this one. You want to say update. What's happening here? Currently, you see it looks like this. However, if you're going to open this part again, hit OK. Then this is updated. Once this one is being updated, right? Then uh, you can see when I open it side by side, then this is also updated and uh, you can see it's been modified. Save your file again. You don't want to make any changes. You don't want to make any changes and save your changes here. You can try if you are going to say change this major damage to 12 and uh, change pitch to 1. And then you should be able to see update here. So this is 12, and uh, your major diameter is 12, your minor diameter pitch also updated. So hit OK, save your file, and also save your. file so both of five they're ready to upload to your FOL Dropbox